So let's have a look at uh, Paul. This is Paul Ansel, isn't it? Talking to you at, at such a difficult time. Just tell us your, your thoughts and emotions at the moment. I don't really have any anything to say other than what the family said yesterday. Tell me your thoughts and emotions. I don't really have any. The emotions at the moment. I don't really have any. any. I don't really have any. Sorry, what it turned down. So, I mean, talking to you at, at such a difficult time. Just tell us your your thoughts and emotions at the moment. I don't really have any. any. I don't really have any. Tell me your thoughts and emotions at this difficult time when, like, this was just the other day, wasn't it? She's, like, missing a week gone. Missing. What are your thoughts and emotions? I don't have any. Right? Anything to say other than what the family said yesterday. Uh I don't have anything to say other than what the family said yesterday, Your Honour, Officer. My statement is no comment. But I can't come out and say no comment, so I don't have any. I, I don't have anything to say. I don't like that. My whole focus is the two girls, just staying as strong as I can for them. I'm scared that if I. He's scared that if I oh, don't go there. Um, is it that if he's scared that if he breaks down and starts crying, he won't stop crying? He's worried and all that. Like that would imply this grief and that's okay. But also that implies acceptance that she's gone forever, either left him and disappeared or like we need to talk about these sort of things as well. Like, and I suppose we might as well talk about them here now while we're doing this. Um, if someone's missing, you would be crying. Yeah, but uh, distraught, crying, worried for them, uh, worried about them. Yeah, um, that's true. Uh, I wanted to put this into context as well. What if she decided to leave of her own accord? Um, it could be that uh, she's decided of her own volition to say, look, I don't like living with my husband anymore. I'm off with the farmer down the road or I'm off with the postman or whoever. Do you know what I mean? She could have driven the kids to school and said, fuck it. I've had enough of this and, and gone off and lived her life. But no one's suggesting that, are they? She's either in the river or maybe she's been... Like, you know, other people think the, the public thinks something dark could have happened. The police won't entertain it or she could be in the river. But why can't she have just left him? Why can't she have decided? Like, if you're a man with your, with your wife, I suppose you would probably confidently feel that's not happened because your relationship and the strength of your relationship. But there would be part of me that would be insecure and say, look, you know, she's been gone for a week now. I'm really worried, but I have to face the chance, the opportunity that like she's I have to face the opportunity, the um, the option that she's decided to leave me, and like I'm in this, I'm in this shit position. But in that case, wouldn't you be taking this opportunity? The Daily Mirror are interviewing you. This is your interview for the media. So what are you going to do? You're going to say, "I hope to God she's okay. I want to live in that world." They're looking in the river. They haven't found her. Nicola, if you're out there, honey, just come home. The kids need you. I need you. If you're out there, just come home. If you have Nicola, I'm going to come and find you and I'm going to pull your eyes from your head and like stuff them up your bum. Oh, you're a bad chuffer. Oh, you naughty chuffer. If you've got Nicola and, and she's kidnapped and you've got her, I'm coming. I don't know where to look, but um, when, I, when I find you, oh, I'm going to be cross. I will, I will cancel your subscription to the Beano. That's how cross I'll be. I'll take your old Beano books and I'll tear the pages out. Oh, I'll be cross. That thing with the eyes, that was quite harsh and I don't want to get binned off the internet. However, I am talking about like murder and stuff. So, um, yeah, dog walker, gone missing. I'd be asking, I'd be appealing. I'd be appealing, wouldn't I? Um, was the dog's lead, they never mentioned the dog's lead, Susan says. So we've got the dog's harness has been found. The dog is off the harness and running around, but the lead itself was not found. Because I would say, right, if I'd murdered my... <laughs> oh, God, I'm going down this road a bit now. If I'd murdered my wife, like, if my wife had been supposed to be off... She's not his wife, she's just a partner. She's off doing the dog walk. And you're in bed with her sister, or whatever. Yeah, you, you decided that you prefer the sister better. And there's some kerfuffle. Like, you might make it look like she's still been on the dog walk like okay you've got cctv of her not coming home maybe she didn't come home 
You know, maybe you've arranged for her not to come home. Maybe you yourself have not done it. Maybe someone else that looks like her has gone out on the walk, though, and let the dog off. Maybe someone that looks like her has gone out, you know, in her coat and let the dog off the lead and then just come home, leave the phone there. Um, these things may happen. Like it, People's recollection, the witnesses then come into it. And the witnesses just say they saw her because they recognize her. They're out walking the dog. They didn't say, like, I don't know, I haven't got the witness statements. But some of the witnesses might have said, oh, you know, we stood and talked for 10 minutes. I saw her. Or they could have said, I was walking the dog. She was over there on the other side of the field. I recognized her by her blue coat. You know, they could have said that. So we don't know exactly where we're going here. Um, there's a bigger cover-up. Oh, cool. In America as well, right? In America, you have, like, <laughs> murder central, isn't it? Murder's left, right, and center. People are always popping each other off. Pop, pop. Oh, you're gone. Pop. Been popped with the old gun. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Pop with the old gun. I'm dead now. Um, that's always going on. In the UK, oh, that doesn't happen so often. And this sort of stuff, when people give an, uh, an interview... Because this is her fella. He's giving his interview. She's missing. This doesn't happen as, as much. So in the UK, it's a bit more um, bit more of a thing. Although the news stories are allowed to cover it, and apparently us people are not. But no. My whole focus is the two girls. Just staying as strong as I can for them. I'm scared that if I put any focus into anything else, it's going to take my you know, focus off that. So I've got to be very careful. Got to be very careful, he said. Be very careful not to break down and cry and, you know, not be there for the girls, yes. But also, I've got to be very careful. <laughs> you certainly have have got to be very careful, haven't you? Yes. Um, I would argue as well, you, your entire energy is focused on the children, essentially. He's saying they're my two girls. Okay, two girls is a funny choice of language because if it's your children, I might say my children. But two girls, like, if you were having relationship with two people you might say my thought you know I'm, I'm having to juggle two girls you might say that so it's a funny choice of language and the idea that your full attention should be on the two girls meaning the children is not entirely correct here is it because your missus is missing so like i might actually and this 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 is just me just putting it out there but i might say look these kids they're worried about their mom right Nan and granddad, the parents, the mother and father, like their nan and grand, you know, her mother and father, Nicholas' mother and father, you're also worried. You're all worried. Take care of the kids. Make sure they think, like, we're on holiday. Tell them we're on, mummy and daddy are on holiday. And that you've got to look, just do that, whatever, yeah? I'm going to be out in the woods looking for Nicola. I'm going to be out in the town. I'm going to ask everyone, have you seen her? Do you know if she's been having an affair? Do you know if anyone's been seeing anything? Like, give me her phone. Let me go through it if you're not going to keep it police because it's not a criminal investigation, apparently. Like, I'm going to be out there doing that. And, like, pleading on the internet, pleading on the, the have you seen Nicola? Da, 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 da. Um, my attention would actually be finding Nicola. Like, even to the extent where she might have been kidnapped or this and that, finding Nicola. Uh, I don't know if I'd be, like, so afraid of breaking down in tears that I couldn't have to focus on my I just have to focus on my kids just hoping to goodness that anything comes out from the interview yesterday no matter how tiny just hoping to goodness that anything comes out while he shakes his head so this is a problem because he's saying um, I've just got to hope that something comes what do you mean something comes out Something comes out. What you, when you're uh, looking for clues, searching for evidences, you're hoping to find something. Something comes up. Something, you know, is found. Something comes out implies that it's being hidden. Oh, the truth will come out eventually, won't it? The truth will come out. It's, it's going to take my, you know, focus off that. So I've got to be very careful. Just hoping to goodness that anything comes out from the interview yesterday, no matter how tiny. Uh, to say a massive thank you to the community, friends, for everything that that they're doing. It's absolutely incredible. I just can't... He does seem a little bit like he might cry, but also he doesn't cry. I believe that, that we're a week on. And as yet, it seems like... We're no further on. It just, just seems... We're no further on. Gets a micro expression, which he covers with like a sniff of his nose. He's pinching here. 
and smiling like he's sort of sniffing but that's a micro expression like he's taking his little mental break from what he's saying there and just like eyes going off into the distance almost but bit of a manic look bit of a scary manic look um but the pinching of the the nostrils here indicates some contempt like that's what he, uh, disgusting uh like he might just be sniffing i might have got this wrong you know he might just have a bit of a runny nose but also there's a small smile again like that's definitely a turn up at the sides of the mouth there's all this shaking of the head as well like i uh, it would be nice if he came across well but he doesn't come across particularly well here so if you're talking about wanting there to be online conjecture and conspiracy theories and not wanting them to be um i would come out and i'd be like so Cons like, I'm just trying to think what I would be like if I was missing someone and like hoping they were okay and um, trying to find them. Like he seems obsessed by the idea she's gone in this river and like he's already got it into his head that she's dead, hasn't he? Which is kind of weird. And as yet, it seems like we're no further on. It just just seems it just seemed absolutely impossible. Just it's like a dream. Uh, we've got another one there as well. You shouldn't do this if, if it's gonna if you're gonna do this. What's that? What's that? A look of fear, surprise, it's like eyes toward the river. Like, is that because he's scared she's in the river? It could be scared that she's in the river. It could be that, or it could be scared that they find something, or like. It just seemed absolutely impossible. It seems just... it seems impossible. What seems impossible? As well, this is like, I really don't like, you know, um, when you have to be two different things, when you have to, like when you're living a natural life and you're just telling people the honest things that you think, it's very free, freeing, it's very relieving, it's very relaxing in a way. Like, you feel a certain sense of, like, it's the opposite to having to keep something in and go, oh no, yeah, no, it's fine, <laughs> really, yeah, no, it's fine. Oh, inside, I fucking hate this. Like, you know, like, you, to, as a human, to have two ideas in your head at once, to be able to uh, pretend one thing and not another. If you ever worked in customer service, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It can be really stressful, and all you're doing is like dealing with people that you don't give a shit about. <laughs> like, no offense to some of the people I dealt with in customer service roles, but come on, like, come on. <laughs> um, I, I don't really mind, like, either way. Like, um, I remember once I worked at a, a supermarket and I forgot to give this guy his cash back on a transaction. And so he was, like, back and he was angry, like, because he wanted to get in his car and go. And done, you've done my shopping, like, you can give me the £50 cash back. And, uh, and I was like, you know, I didn't charge you for it, so you're square, like you just don't have the 50 pounds you want. And he was like, yeah, but I wanted the cash back. And, and like, so I was like, okay, I opened the till and I just gave him 50 quid. And like, then he left. Like, that was a good one. Like, <laughs> like what do I care? It's, it's the supermarket's money. Um, he got 50 quid, like, there we go. <laughs> like, a job solved. Of, like, it's always, I'm feeling good about myself and things are going well, thank you. <laughs> And this is going well, and I'm I, this is fine as a meme, you know, this is fine where everything's burning. That's Phil, that's this guy, that's this guy as well. Like, this is fine, it's obviously not fine. Like, things are going off in your head, and uh, we're getting little cracks. It's like a dream, I just can't, cannot get my head around. It's, it's like a dream, I cannot get my head around. Which, if you were in this situation, it would be like a nightmare that you can't escape from. So, you've got the language wrong there in some way, any of it. I mean, you, you're left sort of trying to make sense of the, of the census, aren't you? It is just such a mystery. Yeah, it it is. There's just no... Every, every single scenario comes to a brick wall. Every... Does it, though? Every single scenario comes to a brick wall. Okay, I'll give you some scenarios that don't come to a brick wall. One, she's gone off because she just fucking hates you and she's decided she's had enough of you and she's having an affair with the milkman and she's gone off. There's no brick wall there. It's just you don't know what, where and where and what, right? So that's not necessarily a brick wall. And I... It, it doesn't make sense because you've got her phone left on the bench and she would care for her kids like she would want you know um, what about a potential um, like the brick wall you found is the and a brick wall is a strange choice of, of words as well it's like we bricked this up like if you if you come to a dead end a dead end's a bad choice as well isn't it because dead corpse that's a that's why I'm saying dead end uh, come to uh, come to nothing I suppose, I don't know, bricked it up, like, I'm, I'm feeling that you're, like, not telling me something, I don't know. Single one of them, and then all we're doing is sitting there going round and round and round, going through every scenario, and then go back to the, the first scenario again, and do the whole thing again. And this might be what they're doing, but I also find it strange that um, 
it's almost like he's describing practicing or rehearsing for something. We go around around the scenario and we go back to the start of the scenario again and then like it's like rehearsing for something, isn't it? Like you might rehearse for a crime, making sure that there are no loose ends and that you've covered every base and that you've rehearsed and rehearsed and then you put the crime into action. And then and it, it's just all day long, that's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. But how are how are you coping? It must be so difficult, like you say you're focusing. And I thought that was weird because uh, all we're doing is going round and round and over and over and all this sort of stuff, yeah? Um, oh, you're banging in chat now as well, shaking his head while, no, while saying it, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's really sus, isn't he? He's really sus. I don't like it. And uh, he said that he was totally focused on his little girls and, he's, sorry, on his two girls is what he said he was totally focused on. And uh, he's got a side of contempt on his face here where I've paused it. We've got that sneer again whether it's sniffing or snorting, or it's that sneer again. Uh, and the idea was that you spent the whole time going over and over scenarios. But a minute ago, you said that you had to hold your shit together to deal with your two girls. So if you're spending time, like if I was doing stuff with the kids and trying to keep my mind occupied with the kids, and um, you know, I wouldn't be going over and over scenarios. I wouldn't have the time necessarily. But if I, I don't know, I, I find that incongruent, but it, it's more congruent with what I would expect someone who was going through this shit to be doing, going through the scenarios over and over. So there is something positive in that, if that were to be the case. It's on the girls. There's a big drawing of breath here and anxiety on the face again. There's like a, um, you know, fight or flight response, the anxiety of being confronted with these things and um, anxieties. He might be just feeling general anxiety because he's on the news and he thinks people might think he's a chuffer. But um, in that pause, there's a moment of thought and a big, like, like he's gone from more relaxed here to drawing in, closing up his neck, like more defensive, a big drawing of breath, flight or flight response again. Focus is, is on the girls, and it, and it has to be, but yeah. it, it must be so difficult. That might have been anxiety. He's biting his lip here. There's something that doesn't want to come out or he doesn't want to be said, like, you know, hiding that, biting the lip. I don't know how I'm coping. I, I, can't, I, I don't even want to actually think about that. Just focus. Just like I say, it's just about the girls. That's it. I'm there for them. Um, I, can't, I don't want to really elaborate on that. It just... Just shaking his head a lot. Doesn't want to talk about this. I understand that he doesn't want to talk about this. I don't want to take my eye off that. It must be heartwarming to see the, the public response. Hundreds of people trying to help. It's amazing. It's, uh, it is. Right, that is the only thing that we can take is, you know, that level of support is out of this world. Um, it gives us a, a great amount of comfort knowing that uh, that's going on. He said it's the only thing we can take. And it gives us a great deal of comfort knowing that there, that's going on. We don't have anything else, do we? Well, and we don't have anything else, do we? And the big shrug of the shoulders and the smile. This is, this is the worst thing that he could possibly be doing now, look. I don't want to take my eye off that. It must be heartwarming to see the, the public response, hundreds of people trying to help. It's amazing. It's, uh, it is. Right, that is the only thing that we can take is, you know, that level of support is out of this world. Um, it gives us a, a great amount of comfort knowing that uh, that's going on. We don't have anything else, do we? Well, what? Look at your face, big laughy smile. We don't have anything else, do we? With a shrug of the shoulders as if to say, like, well, I don't know, where, where I didn't, who does, I don't know, we haven't got it. No one, no one's got any evidence of that. Hey, I got away with that one then. Big Jupiter's Delight smile. Um, I want to bring it back to another case that, uh, I'll leave that one open so I can look at it later. Um, bring it back to Tia Sharp, one of them. Um, 11, something like that, maybe. Because I, I know she was on about going up to, for an, uh, for better, she wanted to get up early. She picked up. So he is doing an interview where he's saying that he, you know, doesn't know where she is, missing, can you find her? And uh, one of the things that was picked out in the body language analysis of him was that he did a lot of head shaking, a lot of shrugging his shoulders, a sort of like, if I've got it on mute now, and I've got it on mute deliberately, because I just want to, you know, just to see him, you know, the way he's behaving. Uh, he's looking away not maintaining the eye contact, which is a negative. But there's all this like shaking of the head and like, it's almost like you're seeing someone bargaining or, you know, I don't know, mate, I'm not sure, mate. I don't know, like you, you get that vibe, you know, that vibe, this like, I don't know, well, 
you know it's it's a attempted portrayal of self innocence like um not knowing anything not being able to help you with this don't don't ask me uh like no one was saying did you do this they were saying what like where is she what what you know he was doing his appeal sort of thing in much the same way here we've got uh a very similar, um, if if more brief, uh, display of this. You don't have anything else, do you? Well, <laughs> well, it looks. I tell you what, if you've not done away with your misses, then that looks fucking awful to be laughing about it in public. The idea that you don't have any evidence. <laughs> There's hope. There's, yeah, we're never ever going to... Serious leave. again now. Serious again now. There's hope. Yeah, now now get this. This one, this one again. It's like, um, I find it very difficult. I'll just say that. You don't have anything else, do we? Well, there's hope. There's, yeah, we're never ever going to lose the hope. Of course we're not. No, we're never ever going to lose the hope. Of course we're not. Never ever going to lose the hope. What do you mean never ever? Like long term now, forever ever. Never ever going to lose the hope. Like... Two scenarios, one, okay, three scenarios, four scenarios, whatever. One scenario, she's gone off on her own and you hope she's going to come back. We're never going to lose hope that she's going to come back. Like she might just turn up and walk in the door one day. Uh, she's gone in the river, she's dead. We're never going to lose hope of what? Like, that's not right. Uh, or, like, I know she's not coming back. <laughs> and, uh, like, madly I'm a can. Uh, like, this is never going to go away and people are always going to wonder. We're never going to lose hope. Um, there's there's an option there as well. Um, smiling smirk, Jupiter's delight, absolutely, Rudy. Uh, but like, but right now, it is as though. Big lick of the lips here. Big lick of the lips. Uh, I'm not 100% what I think about that, so I'm going to ask the internet. Um, lick of the lips, body language, because I'm pretty sure it means something. Um, and let's just see what it kind of says. Uh, it's a sign of anticipation when we see something we desire. It could mean we're hungry for something. Uh, when you're attracted to someone, your mouth produces extra saliva. I don't think it's like that. I don't, think it quite, I don't quite like that. Anticipation of something we desire. Again. Tight lips may indicate you're planning to keep the truth in, but I don't know about that. Uh, find it a bit troubling. Find it a bit troubling. I'm not sure what to make of it. I'll say that. This big lick of the lips. The stare away again, though. This staring away into this either far distance or maybe he's imagining like, you know, okay, here's, here's a piece of conjecture. Is what's life going to be like without her? Well, like, I'm going to get on with, like, shagging that other woman that I wanted to. So big lick of the lips in anticipation of that, looking off into the, like, distance future, thinking about the future maybe. Maybe not that. Maybe not that. Uh, but, like, but right now, it is as though she has vanished into thin air, like... And then this comment again, which was echoed, wasn't it? His, the sister, her sister said it's like she's vanished into thin air as well. So whether they've got together and that word has been said over the table and they've both got it in their head or whatever, but uh, they both got the same, she's vanished into thin air. Like they've both been reading from the same hymn sheet there. Yeah, just, in, just insane. Just insane. It's insane. I'm glad they cut him off there before he made himself look any more guilty because this shaking of the head look at that one look at that one like we freeze frame Phil to make him look funny sometimes on on the uh, the bingo but look at that one honest governor I didn't do it uh, I, I find him troublesome I find him troublesome he may not have done it he may just have terrible body language in this interview you know it may just be that I'm a bad reader body language I don't know I in my opinion I find this troublesome and I'm putting it in the box of, like, I'm just here on the internet reacting to things. You know, vile conjecture that I am. Vile. Vile I am. Vile. There's me on the internet if you want to follow me on informal films for, like, because that's Twitter where you can be even more vile. But <laughs> the, the internet said, like, the news people said that it's vile conjecture. 11 facts you may not know about the case. This is her friend now. So bear in mind that they... They really don't want people on Facebook. Look, she's addressed the disgusting comments made about Nicola's partner, Paul Ansell. Detectives said they were open to new information in the case and criticised the totally unacceptable online abuse of people helping their inquiry. 
In a public Facebook post, another of Nicola's friends, Tilly Ann, also addressed the disgusting comments made about Nicola's partner, Paul Ansell. Like me, I just did that. Disgusting. Tilly said, We can see the hurt and pain and see how much he's struggling to hold back the tears. He's completely focusing on his girls, again, this his girls, because if he even stops to think about anything else, he will lose it and doesn't want to worry his girls even more than they already are. Just let them... St- they little having a little stay away with their friends. little holiday with their nan. Don't get them all involved and tell them mummy's missing and like, you know, where's mummy? Just give them a break. Keep them unaware of it. This is what I would do. I might be wrong. But, and then do your damnedest to sort the shit out so that they can live a normal life. Like, I wouldn't, I'd be less inclined to be on the media unless it was a find her campaign. I'd be less inclined to be on the media. And there's his face there. You can see his little face there, can't you? His, his big, quite big face. Quite big face there. Um, you, I'd be less inclined to be going on all this stuff and more inclined to be like sorting the shit out so that they can live a normal life. Uh, it feels like he's given in to the idea that she's not coming back in a way, doesn't it? Um, doesn't want to worry his girls even more than they already are. Doesn't want to lose it. So Tilly went on to list 11 points she thinks the public should know. So bear in mind, like, you know, we shouldn't be talking about this anymore. We're just online disgusting trolls who... <laughs> I find it funny the way they react to the mainstream media. Like we don't want consp- like we don't want people making accusations on the internet. Like he just did that. He just did that. I just watched him do that. I just watched him do that interview where he did the laughing and the faces. Do you remember like when you were a kid and you're at school and like someone would make faces at inappropriate times and then they'd like, get told off for it. Like imagine you were in, I don't know like the choir or the school play and one of one of them is making faces. Oh are you. Stop making faces. It's inappropriate. Or you're at the funeral and some kid's making faces. Stop making the faces. We've all seen it somewhere. It's all happened somewhere. He's done it in his interview when he's looking for his missing loved one. It's just sad for him that he's done it at that inappropriate time. But he's he has. Anyway, these are the things that we shouldn't be talking about. But Tilly, Tilly should be on the internet, on the Liverpool Echo, talking about these things. So... These are the facts from Tilly. Paul and Nicola both mostly work from home, 